What's up, Internet? We are back with another fantabulous Sega Saturn day where my Saturn uh, Satiator port still isn't working. So we gotta go with a game I own physically, which is fine. But uh, we're gonna be checking out Steam Gear Mash, a game I actually know a little bit about because I reviewed it forever ago. Um, I also tried to stream this for Saturn Day before using the Satiator, and while I could display it, there would be no sound. So I'm guessing this game just isn't properly, like, configured for the Satiator or something. So all this awesome steel drum in the background would be missing, and, and that would just be a damn shame. But uh, we're gonna play some Steam Gear Mash, hopefully not get my ass handed to me too much, but I remember this game being kind of crushingly difficult sometimes, but it's it's a great little import. Our robot got repaired. You didn't see it in the opening, but uh, we used to have two arms, but one of them got bifurcated when an evil robot stole our girlfriend. Uh, so now we have a gun, which is probably better. Now this game is gonna probably show off a bit of a problem I have with my Saturn, and that is this is a game that uses like uh, shoulder buttons to uh, create different like strafing patterns. Like right now we've got it set to stop, so if I try and strafe, we'll just be basically a turret mounted in the middle. So up to lock, and, and suddenly we're strafing. Um, so yeah, my shoulder buttons, I've got one that doesn't work super well, so that might be not so good. But, uh, the music to this game is pretty awesome. I used it a little bit for, uh, some videos I've made in the past and will continue to do so because I like the music in this game. Uh, it's isometric, which means there's gonna be some platforming issues, as there always is. And it's just crushingly difficult, just in general. Also, there was a cat. Uh, if I remember, this game, you get to collect cats. So now we have a cat following us. I, I think there's like three or four cats you can get. I don't think they're mandatory, but some are just easier to find than others. I'm not sure if you can even get that box. Like, I can shoot at it easy enough, but... Can I pick it up? Let's find out. What do we have here? I need to know. We got some health. <laughs> health is not the easiest to come by in this game. This game is actually... Like I said, kind of really crushing. <laughs> also, there might be some flashing, so, you know, photosensitivity, it's gonna suck. I know I've got issues with it. But it's not full screen flashing, so I'm hoping it's not gonna be that big an issue. But the explosion effects are quite lovely. They're nice, they're colorful. They're very punchy. And our, our goal is basically to get to the end of an area and kill a boss. Unfortunately, we can't get through here, because we, I think we need to get a certain weapon to break that. Basically, we need to get several different things in every level in order to make progress. Is is the short version of this in a very broad concept. Um, some levels are, it, like two levels anyway, are straight up shmups, kind of Zaxxon style isometric shmups. Uh, they're very, very difficult, but we'll see what we can do about them. Also, the cat meows every now and then, which is cute. But it's, like, just the best cat-collecting uh, isometric game ever. It's also probably the only one, but, you know. Actually, I'm, I'm sure there's, like, one of those, like, dogs, cats games that's probably isometric. They probably all are. I've never actually played them. I own one dogs game that gets a lot of views on my channel for some reason. I should probably review it at some point. But that was just a game I got in a bundle, and I never really looked into it. Uh, this is a save station. We're going to be using this a lot. Because uh, there aren't any checkpoints. Any checkpoint in the game is one you make yourself with a save. So we're going to be needing these a lot. And these, I think, are teleporters. You need like certain things to unlock them. Basically, we're just going to run around shooting stuff and hopefully collect some stuff. And not die too often, if we can help it. But we'll probably die quite a lot. Because this game is a little bit unforgiving. I'm actually playing relatively well. By now I would have normally died like three times. This this game is actually very difficult. Okay, we can't actually make it across that. But we can drop down here, which is a new area. We'll get some more steam. Also, we've got like a bomb sub-weapon. Uh, 
And a secondary sub-weapon. What's... Ah, oh, we got shurikens. Cool. And a bomb. These sub-weapons are kind of, like, more effective than your gun. So, you're gonna want to keep your, like, SP level charged and just spam them on bosses. Otherwise, I wouldn't use them too much. Like, they're useful for getting around, like, environmental stuff, but... I think this is a power-up. Nope. I know there's a power-up somewhere pretty close by. You'll know it because it looks different. It's health. I think the, the real key to playing this game well is to be patient. And the thing you have to understand is I'm a ridiculously impatient person. So I, I don't like waiting. I don't like sitting around trying to figure out what I need to do. This just took us in a big circle, didn't it? Oh no, I think we're in a different area now. Oh, I know where we are, okay. So we've already been here, and we need to advance here, but we need stuff before we can do that. Oh, let's not run into those guys. Or that. Okay. Yeah, enemy shots can kind of travel a lot further than it takes for them to spawn on screen. So they can kind of shoot you from off screen, and if you're not prepared for it, that kind of sucks. So far, we're actually doing okay, though. We're, we're not doing terribly badly. Like I said, I, I probably would have died here a few times, at least. Alright, there we go. We got a Dreamcast logo. This gives us the roll power, which is one of the, like, um, striping options, so... Now I can just shoot in all directions, which... I guess would be useful if you're surrounded. It's not really all that useful, though. I think there's something down here we still need to get. Alright, well I just used a bomb I didn't want to use, but otherwise we're not dead. That's that's the key here. I'd really like to get my satiator back up and running. I've got like an alternative piece of equipment that can kind of do it, but I need to rearrange some stuff in order to get it to work, and I need some extra gear. Alright, there we go. And now I've got the punch option, which should help us clear the way of those uh, red blocks. So ideally, right now, we'd head back and save, just so we can save some time. I, I'm just, you know, happy I haven't completely died like eight times yet. This is the way we need to go. Whoop, and then I fell. Now I gotta go all the way back up. Oh god, okay. I think like your little uh, steam clouds that jump out of your little radiator on the back, they speed up the more damage you take as well, which is a neat little touch. But, otherwise it's a pretty simple game, but you know, it's... Those kinds are the best imports, you know, they're uncomplicated, you don't have to spend forever trying to figure out how they work. Uh, do I need to go this way? I don't think so, that's where the... Okay, the save data place is here. Gonna save. I got tons of health. I believe saving does uh, record exactly how much health you have as well, which is not ideal, <laughs> just by virtue of the fact that if you have to load a save, you'll have exactly how little health you had before. But I think this glove will take out this block here. Nope. I'll take out one of the blocks. Maybe it's the gray one we saw earlier. Just gotta, you know, take good care not to explode. Take it slow. If we can take it slow, we'll be doing okay. I don't know if this game's ever gone up in price, um, but when I bought it, it was like 10 bucks. It's it's a relatively inexpensive game for what it is. And I like it a lot. I think it's one of the better Saturn imports. I'd like to get some health if you want to drop it for me. Again, health drops, not super duper common, but I'll take whatever I can get. I think we can actually make this jump, so let's try it. Yep, there we go, there we go, there we go. Boom, it's the green blocks, okay. And I think this means that we're about to go face a boss. Yeah, boss time. It's the clown! Uh, who plays kind of like roulette with you and he like throws cards and depending on the card you get, you get like a different result. So like, sometimes he'll like throw health at you, other times he'll just 
do that. I mean, ideally we'd be shooting the clown right now, but... I'll take that. I mean, if the cards take enough damage, they go away, if I recall. It's, it's been a while, but I know that our end result is... Not to get mullered by that. Ow. Actually, that did, like, no damage. I think that was just... You know, him playing silly with me. No, 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 Yeah, and then he does that. So it's kind of nice to have the cards out, I guess. Nope. Ah. Yeah, so this game's hard. Did I mention that? Because, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that does do damage, just not a ton. Ah, oh, we're out of... Uh... Okay. Yeah, we, we destroyed the heart one. The, the one useful card he's got, we destroyed it. Because, of course, we did. Fortunately, he's he's taken some damage. He's flashing. Again, photosensitivity warning, but this is retro gaming being what it is. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Alright, there we go. And we got a new power-up. The fire! Which I think just gives us a flamethrower. Uh... Yeah, we get a flamethrower. That fight is unbelievably difficult, by the way. Like, I'm... I'm surprised. I, like, that should not have been as easy as it was. Now, I think the fire is needed to get rid of the red block so we can move on to level 2. I'm not sure if, um... Those other, like, weird boxes that were color-coded interact with the weapons, because it's been a while. I'm inclined to think they're just teleporters, but I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Just look at the little cat! He's being a little cat. Alright. Alright, first things first. We're saving. <laughs> because I don't want to go through that again. Alright. Mission saved. Let's go see about these weird teleporter things, because I think that's what they are. Uh, so green was weak to the punchy fist? Yeah, no. I think the giant glowy W over there that's uh, seizure-inducing as well is uh, just a sign that it's a world transfer thing in case you somehow miss something. Although I'm pretty sure this game's pretty linear. There's like not really any backtracking, or at least not really any need for it, from what I remember. Flamethrower destroyed that. On to stage two. I want to say there's like seven stages, if I recall. Seven or eight, something like that. For some reason, there's just a, a high-tech intergalactic uh, base in this theme park. Don't question it. Safe station. Again, given how tricky this game can be, we're, we're going to be spamming the hell out of these for however long we play this. Because... Yeah, the, the only continues and checkpoints are the ones you make for yourself. But I'm very much reminded of Sonic 3D Blast from this stage. Uh, either the the theme park, just for the color scheme, like the little buttons on the ground, or uh, one of the last stages, just for the sort of coldness of it. I'm going to try my best to be as, as patient with this as I possibly can, which is... Like I said, absolutely not how I play anything. <laughs> Give me some health, that would just be super. Nope, that's fine, I guess. Outside of the fact that there's... Well, 
Outside of the fact that there's um, some shmup stages, after the first stage I kind of forget everything about this game though, so... It'll be interesting to see what I remember. I, I remember we have to fight the robot from the opening intro I didn't show. That, uh... He handed us. But otherwise, I'm, I don't remember much about uh, the specifics of the game. But that just makes it all the more interesting for us both. Alright, got some health. We can still stand to use more, but again, health drops are not the most common thing. Gotta be careful. Okay, let's let's just be careful. Again. If, if I were playing this normally, because I didn't want to just try and show this game off, I would just be running through this stuff and hoping. <laughs> so I don't want to stand here and shoot stuff and hope I win. I'd, I'd just rather run through it and take my chances. Because I feel like that's more progression for me than anything. Okay, so that thing's flying. I think we're probably going to be using the flamethrower from here on out for mini-bosses, just by virtue of the fact that those bombs are kind of frustrating to use. Okay, we got a split path. Let's let's hope this is where we need to go. This is the second gray block we've seen, so I think it's safe to say we're gonna get some power that lets us deal with gray blocks in this level. I think that's some degree of logic, I, I think is understandable. Alright, what do we got? We have some kind of backwards facing arrow man. Oh, I know what this is. Back shot, so you can run away and shoot at the same time. That's actually kind of useful. I, I might keep that. This is basically lock, but in reverse, sort of. Not really. Nah, I, I'm gonna stick with lock because I think lock is probably pound for pound the most useful. Just a proper strafe. I see. I can see the value in like being able to shoot opposite the direction that you run in, like in shmups and stuff. And I still cannot wrap my head around how to use those well. I see the validity of them, but they just don't gel with me. And here's not really any different. I'm guessing the backward shot is not going to help here. Whoops. Oh well. Yeah, I don't think we got the right thing for that just yet. Tested. Nope, it's not punch, it's not flamethrower, not bombs, not spread shots, so we don't have what we need for this just yet. Which means we gotta go somewhere else. Now, the thing that doesn't make sense about that is I'm pretty sure we've gone everywhere. <laughs> Unless maybe we need to clear out this area. I mean, I guess I could see that. Again, I kind of don't remember this game past the first stage, so... It'll be interesting to see what we can find. Got some energy. Is it just me or is that box in the wrong position? Like, the rest are all properly spaced out and that box just moved. Why did you move, box? Maybe it's a perspective thing, but some of these boxes look like they're moving to me. Like, just slightly. Like, yeah, this looks, this this box to my left looks like it's floating. I'm guessing that's just a perspective trick or something. But I'm not seeing what we're looking for here, so we should probably go take a look elsewhere. Ooh, I don't think we've been this way. Unless it's the way we came, in which case, yeah. No, this looks familiar, okay. Oh, I think there was a, some kind of penguin, or a puffin, maybe, hanging out on that mech. Is there anything connects to this? Not really, no. Alright, well, let's just keep moving slow and steady. And hopefully find a way through this. Okay. Keep going. That's where we came. We don't have any other options, so... Let's take a look down here. So I'm pretty sure this is where we came from. This is a save station. That's where we came from. So where do we need to go? 
Look at me, Mr. Big Brain lost in level 1, a relatively easy to understand laid out area. Hmm. But yeah, let's just. Yeah, so we're back in stage 1. This isn't where we need to be. Got it. Stage 2. The palette cycling blue font of justice. Uh, yeah, I'd like to heal if I could. See, this is a problem. I could save, but I'm pretty sure I wouldn't get my health back. And considering that while we did get the back shot, I'm not sure we got enough that I would justify the save. Like, it's, it's easy to spam saves when you don't have any damage, but the moment you start taking damage, it gets harder and harder. You gotta learn to, like, justify your saves. So I'm hoping we find something useful so that stupid ringing can go away. There's a little bit anyway. Not much, but yeah, now we're back here. We could fling ourselves off here and see where that takes us. I think that just takes us back to that room? Yeah, that's where we just came from. Okay. It was important we checked. <laughs> oh no. Oh, now I'm panicking. Yeah, the no health uh, ringer is definitely not something that helps you. Please drop a big health, I could really use it. Oh, we got weapon energy, nice. Oh. Come on. Health pick up. Okay, well, we've got basically one health now. Alright. At least we don't have to listen to that stupid ringing for a while. Until I take one hit of damage. Then we're gonna hear it again. Again, getting more health in this game would be useful. For a lot of reasons, really. Okay. Nothing over here. Nothing here. And you're flying, so I have to kind of get a little fancy when it comes to killing you. But... Alright, thanks to perspective, I was able to grab that. Now this way leads us to... some boxes I can't destroy. Ah, and I can't jump around it. Alright. Alright, well it looks like we at least have a little bit of health, so that's... That's a plus. Of some description. And we have a cat that's helping. I mean, he's not killing anything, that would be super useful, but you know, he's, he's helping in his own cat way. That was actually scary. Where did this guy come from? I don't think the enemies are just straight up respawning on us. There's nothing over here. Nope. 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 Hmm. Well, we just wasted a whole lot of energy. And why is this box so close to the others? Can't push it. <laughs> hmm. And unfortunately, that's the other direction. So where do I go after this? I mean, I could blind faith jump, but I don't think that'll take us anywhere. Or value, anyway. No, let's just take us to the first room. Huh. Maybe there's something in the previous area we missed. I'm betting what it is, is killing that boss probably made another, like, box disappear, so we gotta go get a thing somewhere. So we did, in fact, miss something. I'm betting is, is the likely candidate for what's going on. So let's take a look. I think this just leads us back to level zero. Yeah. Unfortunately, going back to level zero in our home does not 
fully recharge us or anything, that would be nice. But it's fine. We at least have a little bit of health, and as long as we play it smart, we'll get our health back all the same. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll get our health back. Avoid that. Those guys have, like, the wonkiest shots. Okay. I don't think we necessarily want to go this way just yet. Although that might be our only option. Yeah, okay. So let's be careful. Grab that weapon ammo before I forget it. Thought I had more weapon ammo than I did. Ooh, health! That's useful. Okay, I'm gonna save, and we're gonna see what we can do with this. Save. Slot one. Yes, please. <coughs> Excuse me. What's in this hole? An over here place. And this rolly ball clown. And a guy that damaged me, and I'm not happy about that. Alright. Fair enough. We're getting some health back, so it's cool. Alright, so we found one of these boxes. Can we do anything about it? Nope. 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 Okay. But we've at least found a box that's similar, which means that we found some connective tissue to our solution. In that we found another use for it, once we get it. But since the first area is pretty much completely... Or the second area is pretty much completely barren, we might as well just keep going this way and see what happens, even if we've already retreaded this stuff. Jump, jump, jump. Ah, uh, I do like the music in this stage. Alright, so where do we go now? That'll lead us back the way we want to go to leave the area, but let's go this way. Maybe there's something we missed. Now that we've killed the boss. Not here. That's where we got the Magical Dreamcast logo. Jump, 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 jump. Let's try going down here to the king where we fought the boss. So maybe we'll find something we missed. I don't think that was what we were missing. <laughs> Okay, hmm. I'm really struggling to think where we need to go at this point, because I remember this being a lot more linear. And pretty easy to follow, but we've kind of already gotten lost because I'm inept. Okay, don't want to fall down there. This is where teleporters live. That doesn't do us any good right now. I'll go see the king again. I mean, he's not going to be there, but maybe there's something there we can pick up. I, mean, I was about to do that, but then I saw a thing. Is there anything here we missed? Nope, but we can sit in his little king hole. But nothing here. That's fine. It's weird that that's separate from stage one, but doesn't get, like, a, a stage identifier. It's like, you know, it's it's not a separate stage, it's the same stage, it's just not the same stage. I don't know how that hit me, but okay. No health from that, that would've been useful. Yeah, there's gotta be some way to destroy those boxes. Because that seems like the only way forward at the moment. Pretty sure I've checked everything. And checked everywhere. There's some nice water up there. At least that looks kinda nice. Is there anything over here we missed? Just the down here place, and the down here place is the next level. Yeah, so. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna save, just because we did get the back shot. And we do have at least some health. Alright. 
I can't just walk up to the platform. There doesn't appear to be any boxes I can shoot. At least, not that I'm seeing right off. I'm surprised that hit that, but I'll take it. Come on, Mr. Cat. Let's go on an adventure. Find the next power up to find the uh, Great Crate Breaker thing. It's going to turn out that the Great Crate Breaker is found in Stage 0 and needs the Red Crate Breaker. That's how that works. Because, of course. And it doesn't look like there's anything we can just jump to from here. Actually, we got quite a lot of health. I'm actually kind of impressed. Yeah. Not really anything we can just directly jump to, either. No alternate paths. So I feel like this should be real obvious to me, and yet... I'm not seeing the answer. I don't exactly have, like, a vacuum to pull them in. Hmm. Nothing there. Nope. Or it could be that. That might be the solution. I don't know if that's intended or not. I'll take it. <laughs> but now that we've done this, we need to be real careful not to die. Because <laughs> that jump was real fiddly. And it didn't look intentional, so if it was, we may have done something amazing there. I don't know, I don't remember this. Also, our cat friend disappeared. Oh, I'll take that damage, that's fine, but... Dick move, guy. Dick move. Alright. Hey, we got an extra door. Where do we go from here? I think the boss is this way. I, th I remember there being, like, a little corridor between the areas here. Although that might not be the corridor I'm thinking of. Ooh, there's a box. Hey, guy, yeah, I'm just trying to get some health so I can fight some things. Yeah, this game kind of likes its, its tight corridors, which actually makes evasion and doing anything really tricky. <laughs> Very, very thin ledges is, is the name of the game. I would kill for, like, a safe spot around here. Okay. Can't deal with that. Isn't punching? Punching is green box. Okay. So let's equip the, the flamethrower in case we run into a boss over here. There's a lot of paths we just missed as well, and I... I just want to find a safe spot. Okay, there we go. So we're going to move back a little bit just to see if there's anything interesting we missed. But because we plowed far ahead, at the very least, we've got a safe spot. So what do we got here? Anything good? Health? I'll take it. Uh, weapon energy? I'll take it. That enemy came out of absolutely nowhere. Happens sometimes. Ooh. What we have here? Come on, weapon. Or a heart. Hearts are useful. You don't get many of them here. But I really was hoping for a weapon. Pink camera, please. I'm, I'm looking for weapons and stuff. Also, this enemy's flying. It shouldn't be able to physically tag me, but it seems to be able to. Nope. Nope. Aha, there we go. So the red one takes us to stage one. And the blue one takes us to stage two. Okay, we're gonna go back to stage, stage one and save just because we do have a lot of health at this point. And again, you know, it's, it's better to save with lots of health every chance you get. Once you start taking damage, saving becomes a bit of a trickier proposition, I think. Okay. Let's, uh, let's be careful about this. Save. Yes, please. Alright. We're good. Okay, let's keep going. Blue teleporter! 
Back to stage two. Okay, now we gotta be careful, because enemies are a lot more plentiful, and again, that thing is flying, it shouldn't be able to hurt us. And it looks like that save was completely worthless, because this is... I mean, I don't... And that's a gray box. Okay. I, I feel like I should almost reset, just because I took that damage. Again, th this is my I'm getting impatientness setting in. Like, I, I don't want to retread areas I've already done, I just want to move forward. Not back, forward. Charge shot! These guys are real patient to just let you just shoot them from basically point blank range. Okay, there's a small heart. Oh! And there that goes. It's fine. It's fine. No big deal. It's not like health is really wildly rare in this game. Oh, that's full health. Great. I can save right here. I'll take that damage, but I'm not happy about it. Save here, and we'll move forward. Alright, cool. We're good. Just want to try and take care of everything that's around us right now. Again, isometric aiming is more of an art than a science. Okay, you die now. I'd like for those crates that give us, like, health to respawn. It would be nice if they did. They don't. I'd like them to. Charging up and fire. Blue, we definitely don't have anything to handle blue boxes just yet, which means we're going to fight something soon. In fact, I'd say we're about to fight something now. Oh, it's a big snake! Alright. So... I guess the idea is kind of to lure him away and do that. I think this is where like a, a reverse would be actually useful, so you can move while firing. Come on, just gotta lead him over. Oh, I like straight better. Oh, that reverse is just so awkward. Oh, I can't tell where he begins and ends, that's the problem. Or where the hitbox is. Oh! First game over. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm honestly surprised it took that long. Unfortunately, now we gotta watch the title screen. Alright, let's go. Oh. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. <laughs> Dick move, buddy. Some of the enemies, they, they just have like the most obnoxious patrol routes in this game. Like, it's not like I can't figure out where they're gonna go, it's just, they're awful. <laughs> okay, fire, charge up, and fire. Okay. I feel like the back shot will be useful if used in conjunction with the flamethrower. But lock is probably more comfortable for me. Problem is, his head is basically indestructible. Everything else about him isn't, but his head is. 
And his hitbox is really jank. Alright, well, we ran out of health, or we ran out of weapon ammo, so now it's just a matter of shooting the thing. I don't know where his hitbox is. That's a bit of a problem. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, and yeah, if you charge your weapon and you, like, come in contact with a, a wall, the wall eats your charge energy for some reason. Oh, come on. Hitbox, please. Okay. Okay. Anytime you want to just die, dragon thing would be great. No pressure or anything, but you know, sooner rather than later would be fantastic. I feel like the charge shot doesn't do as much damage as it should either, just for how long you have to charge it. That's fine, we're good. How much health does this guy have? A lot, evidently. I'm not going down now. Whew. <sighs> there we go. I think we got an ice cube for all that trouble. So let's go save. And we should be able to deal with uh, that blue platform now. Again, don't want to take damage if I can help it, but these fast guys are going to be a problem. Just going to have to be very careful. There we go. Alright, now we can be reckless as all hell. We're good. Probably. We're, we're probably good. And by that, I mean I'm pretty sure we're about to go do the uh, shmup stage. And these are really unbelievably hard, so... Let's go do that thing, then. Oh, okay. Yep, that works. Just have some of the snow, I guess. Alright, here we go. Onwards and downwards. Stage 3. I think we can spam both, like we don't have to run out, so I'm just gonna hold down these fire buttons and hope for the best. Cause I just remember these being unbelievably difficult. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure it's pretty loud. But I'm, I'm genuinely scared to take my eyes off what I'm doing right now. Oh, those homing missiles suck. Oh, anyone want to drop me some health? Yes, please. I'll take that. Whoa! This is maximum, like, firing, by the way. Oh, slow down. Not as a request, but as a statement of the game's situation. As in, there's a lot of it, and it further isn't. Also, you don't have the ability to move all over the screen. You're actually kind of limited. Even if it doesn't look it. Oh, holy crap. Okay, here we go. Boss time. Because of course there's a boss. It's not like that stage was designed to be unbelievably difficult on its own. Now we need to do a boss. 
like that those uh, completely take away my homing shot powers. It'd be nice if I could at least see how much damage my opponent was taking, so I could feel like I'm doing something to him. I like this game too, like I, I know I'm probably sounding entirely negative to it, but it just needs some quality of life things. Really. Okay, well we got a little bit of health from that. I'm gonna take advantage of that. I'm not sure if the color of his shots indicate anything. I think like the explosions, it's just, it's pretty. So a bunch of different colors. Whoa! Oh, that was some damage I didn't want to take. Yeah, again. Boss taking lots of damage. Hard to tell exactly what's going on. Not dead yet. Oh, yep, I am. <laughs> it's hard to tell, though. Like, you just kind of stop in, in the shmup segments. <laughs> Alright, so let's watch the opening again. <laughs> or try and skip it if I can. Let's go. Nice thing is... The shmup stages aren't, like, super long or complicated or anything. So, you know, once you kind of make your way through it, you're kind of there. And you're pretty much on to the next level after that. Alright, so let's go. Woo! Stage 3. Again. I think this is about the halfway point through the game. It's not a long game, it's just kind of brutally difficult at times. And not necessarily because it's it's fair, but like, just some of it feels really obtuse at times. But it's fine. It's fine. We can do this. But yeah, some basic quality of life things would certainly improve this game, you know. More health drops, maybe a little bit more health. Uh, slightly fewer, like, tight corridors, so you had more room to avoid shots, maybe. Um, an enemy health bar would be good. You know, I don't think any of these things would necessarily break the bank to have come up with when it comes to designing this game. But some of it definitely would have improved the game pretty widely, I think. On the bright side, we have more health than I kind of thought we were going to have at this point. Which is good. We, we want as much health as we possibly can going into a boss fight. Full health. Okay. We got this. I hope. I hope we've got this. We're totally going to biff this. Alright, let's go. You don't move fast enough to kind of like move laterally like that, I find. I'm gonna just try and take care of his little skull mine thing. Alright, there we go. I think that'll make the fight a little bit easier if I worry about those instead of avoiding and just trying to do damage to this guy. I think that's the strategy. Okay, he's gonna Sonic the Hedgehog at us. For a little bit. He does seem to be homing in on us. He's not following the same trajectory that he did last time. Which is interesting. I don't know if he flashes like it like to show his damage or anything, because he's too busy flashing from us damaging him, but again I'm I'm just not sure if we're actually doing all that much damage or where his health is at. Like if if I'm know anything about this game it's like the fights tend to get really grim because of it it's just you know you, you don't have as much information to work with as you'd like I don't know what the hitbox on that lightning is actually supposed to be evidently it's quite big oh health alright I don't think we're going to be able to survive much more from this guy, but we got some health at least. <laughs> Helps me feel better. Holy crap, there we go. Mine now. 
I better have picked that up. Stage four. Okay. A tad scary, but, uh, you know, one way or another. Here we go. Oh, and we... I, I like that that's kind of like a tacit admission that they understood that, that they made that just so incredibly rude that it's like, you know, if you can get through this, we're just gonna give you a save point. Because <laughs> we, we know. We just, we know. Uh, I want... No, I want lock. Give me lock. I think we can find our next cat here, too, which is kind of neat. So, like I said, I think there's three or four cats in this game. I'm not sure if they're mandatory or you can avoid them. I wouldn't like to because cats are awesome. Provided they're not very, very rude cats, anyway. My aunt had a very rude cat, and because of that cat, I was scared of cats for years. It wasn't until I got my, my cat that, um, you know, I, I started liking cats. Yeah, see? There's another cat. Now I got two cats. We're now the robot with two cats. Whoa, okay, get off. <laughs> Don't care for that. Let's just move on. We got our other cat. You know, mission accomplished. Ooh, don't like that so much. Sonic the spike ball over there can go away. And I'd just be happy about it. Alright. I can... Yeah, like... The situations like this are a little bit... Grim. And like, ostensibly that's where your weapons are supposed to come in, but it's just like, yeah, or you could just make a stage not that. That would be good. Okay, uh... Might as well go back to the carnival. Because this will at least give us a little bit of a, a shortcut. Not a big fan of the fact that we're missing half our health bar right now, but... We'll make it work. Somehow. Or we won't. One or the other. Alright. So, I believe it was yellow? Yeah. It's nice that it teleports the cats along with us. It's a very thoughtful teleporter like that. Ah! Not so thoughtful enemy placement, but that's a pretty consistent theme with this game. Just, we're gonna put enemies in the worst possible places. That's a neat enemy design. I kind of like that. I've got very angry power now. I don't know what that does. Oh! But it deals with those. Actually, if it deals with those, we should go back and see what those other boxes were for in, like, stage one and stuff. Oh, God. Come on, give me some health, please. Please give me health. Weapon energy. Lovely. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! Nope. Nope. That's, that's death. Alright, well, at least we know where that thing is and how to break those gray blocks, and with that power, we can go figure some stuff out, but that means that that weird jump we did in level 2 was actually intentional. Which is not ideal. Okay, so new plan. We're gonna get the power up, we're gonna come back here. And then we're gonna see what those gray or that one gray block that's blocking a door was all about. Cause I'm curious about that. Cause I'm an adventurer like that, you know. I, I like adventuring. I like treasure hunting. Need to get stuff, cool stuff, and power ups and stuff. Okay, I'd like to have purple claws Magoo over here. Leave me alone for just a sec. Oh hey, we got full health. Nice. So I guess uh, dying and saving actually does. Okay, that's a jerk move, Tank. I'm gonna park right in the transition area. All right, uh, we want to go to red. Okay, well, if we've healed all the way, that's great. That means we can do some stuff with relative ease. That's quite nice. So let's save here, just so we don't have to grab that again. But we will probably have to go that way just to break those blocks and see where that path goes, so. 
I'll have to remember that, I guess. Okay, so... Down there leads to the boss. We don't need to go there anymore, although... I think we do need to go to that path that goes if you fall down here. And I know there's another way to get here, but... This is just the fastest way I can think. Oop! Okay, box, reveal your mysteries. Is it another cat? Holy crap, that's a lot of dudes. Okay. Let's let's take this a little bit more tactically. Charge up and fire. Is it just me? Or do those balls have fuses on them? Are they writing bombs? Yep, they are. And they can leave them behind. Interesting. Okay, box, reveal your contents and don't be stupid. We got Dash! Alright. Uh, oh, it's one of these. What is Dash, then? Does it just make you move faster? Oh god, that's... That's, like, uncontrollably fast. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Like, I... Appreciate the speed boost, but... At the same time, this is a game that doesn't really behoove moving fast. It's very dangerous to move fast in this game, so while I appreciate that, that's never gonna get used. It really does feel like the, um, mode abilities that you get are all kind of useless. Because, <laughs> like, your your standard strafe is kind of, like, the only one you need ever. Everything else after that is just kind of a waste of space. And the other things are just sort of effectively keys. Okay, let's keep moving. And now that we know, now we don't have to go back there ever again. Although we could check those boxes in the the other world, I guess. That's the blue one. Let's take that up. Gotta see what those boxes were, because there was a lot of boxes we could destroy. They're all gonna be useless and just like filled with random crap, aren't they? Yes, probably. Okay, uh, where are we? Uh, I think we need to head backwards. Which is the last thing I ever want to say. But. Okay. Okay, let's. There was nothing in that box. Okay. Also, there's a box up there I don't know how to get to. Well, if you spiky jerks would like to give me some weapon ammo, I could appreciate it. Ah, some health. One time. I don't need it! That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. I wonder. Is the game gonna make me do what I think it's about to make me do? I think it is, and I'm gonna hate it. Jump! Yep, that worked. Sorta. I, I mean, it, it, I wouldn't say it worked, but, you know. It accomplished kind of what I thought it would do. Sorta. Why do these boxes have nothing in them? You made me think I was gonna get the power here and it was gonna be of use. You stupid jerk boxes. Eh. I like that I have no control over this power, it's just, you know, I'll fire off in whatever direction then home in on random crap that isn't what you want me to shoot. That's super thoughtful of this ability. Aw, look at the two cats dancing! That almost makes it worthwhile. Not actually, but you know, almost. Okay, so the frustrating thing is there's probably definitely gonna be something in one of these boxes, so I'm gonna have to sit here and shoot all of them, which means we have to grind <laughs> for weapon ammo. But I'm not leaving these boxes alone, I need to know what's in them. <laughs> Even if it's nothing. And then I can be very angry about it. And then I'll yell at Takara about it, because they deserve to be yelled at. Didn't we destroy that box? I'm sure we did. Takara, why did you do this to me? I mean, I'll, I'll cut you a lot of slack for how good your Choro Q games are, but come on. Oh, these things don't drop anything. <laughs> 
Oh, okay, new plan. We're gonna go back to that dash thing and do that, because that at least made me feel good. I felt like I was making progress when I went there. This is backwards. This is the way we gotta go. This entire route was... The way this area was designed was so bad. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> why do we make this game like this? Like, why? Okay, what's up here? It better be worth all this pain. We got a thing. I'm not gonna say it was worth it, but we got a thing. Some kind of... Oh, you know what that probably is? Yeah, I know what it is. It's an anti-air homing shot. Whereas the other one's like a ground homing shot. I'm not gonna pretend like I think that's good, but at least we got something out of that trip. Okay. I'm gonna save. And then we're gonna go on to stage four. I still think the flamethrower is probably the most useful ability we've got. But who knows. Okay, uh, I, th I think it's yellow. It's gotta be yellow, I guess. Okay. Oh crap, I got dashed. <laughs> I think there is a way you can, like, disable them in your rotation, but considering that you really only should ever need, uh, like, lock, there's not really a reason to- Oh, get off me! You took away the one bit of health I had, you jerk. Oh, just die. Okay, so those don't even destroy the blocks. Those are that is a useless power up. <laughs> you know, as as much as I am slamming this game right now, I am actually having quite a lot of fun. But man, there's there's just a lot of this game that's this kind of nonsense at times. <sighs> so we've gotten like halfway through. I'm genuinely impressed with that. <laughs> okay, that's that's the destroyed blocks button. So we're gonna go destroy some blocks. Hopefully make some progress. Okay, let's go. Avoid all the things! Because, again, this game really likes its tight corridors and it makes me angry. Wasn't there a tank up there? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's, let's just be real careful about what we do, because I'd like to not die. And there's a box there, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Now I need to know what's in it. Health. I wasted health to get that, though. So, like, at best, I'm net neutral. And I don't even think I was net neutral, I think I was negative there. Alright, what do we got here? Health. I love that this game has, like, non-respawning crates of health, but just refuse to give you regular health from enemies when you could actually use it. This box is not going to be worth me risking my neck, is it? Nope, it absolutely wasn't. Music's quite nice, though. Oh, these guys are angrier, and their palette swapped from the other versions of them. Oh god. Alright, alright. Uh. Nope, just gonna scooch by you. This is my impatience getting the best of me. But it feels like it's almost the way you have to go to get through some of these rooms just based on the way they're designed. It's like, uh, yep, you just kinda have to run and hope for the best. Please die, Mr. Tank. 
thought your pink tank was super stylish for what it's worth, but I need you to not be in the way. Alright, there we go. Whoa! Okay, the blue ones shoot things. The purple ones also shoot things. Some of them crawl on the ground. Ugh. I should not be able to get hit by things that fly. Like, if I'm on the ground, things in the air should not be able to hit me. I mean... Okay, this is... Yeah, your invulnerability in this game is not super great either. Not an easy game. Definitely one that can be pretty frustrating when it wants to be. Which way do I want to go? I don't know. I don't know. Safe spot. Good enough. And then if I die, we can at least recover with our health. We don't have anything we're missing behind us, so I'm fine with just rushing ahead, saving, and hoping for the best. If we can kite this guy down here, we can jump up here. Avoid the green guys that like to duck and give you a big hug. I think we're in a boss fight. Oh, hey, it's the robot that uh, took our hand in the opening. Oh, God. That's not fair. I mean, I can do the same thing, but... You know. Actually, yeah, why am I not just doing exactly what he's doing? He's cheating. <laughs> oh, I'm on stop. I need... <laughs> oh, this game is very difficult. <laughs> Okay, got a strategy. Stick to lock-on, I don't know why I wasn't on lock-on, and just spam those anti-air missiles. And hope. Hoping's gonna be key to this. Alright, let's, let's see what we can do about this. Hopefully we got this. Okay, so we got lock equipped. Uh, we need the blue missiles, so the blue bullet bill, there it is. Okay, I'd like this guy to... Yup, you go down there, I go over here, I avoid this tank. That guy was being an absolute jerk. Alright, well, we're at least doing better than we did last time. You're the guy who stole my hand, you jerk. And yes, he is a cooler, edgier version of me. Why do you ask? Oh, I don't like those missiles. This is where a reverse shot would actually have some use. But I wouldn't want to use it because I can't stand reverse shots. <laughs> this is really just sort of a battle of attrition. It's just more of a matter of, you know... More being real careful and outsmarting him and playing it real slow. You can do that. You kind of have this fight, I think. It's going to be very careful. Did not expect that. I wish my gun would do more. You know what would be a useful power-up? A gun power-up. Take that! Yeah, the, the fights in this game are really kind of a, scary. Oh, and now we're on stage 5. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just stage 5. I think this is a shmup too. Um, yeah, so... Hopefully we don't lose. Because <laughs> if we do, we're in real trouble. Because <laughs> we're going to have to do this again. Also, I love that we're on like this little pedal helicopter thing. Like, clearly we're pedaling our way up to space. This game is delightful when it's not being, like, crushingly difficult. <laughs> but, man, I really don't want to biff this. <laughs> if, if I screw this up and have to do that fight again, I'm going to be sad. Like, because I can do it. Clearly I can, it's just... It's very difficult and not very fun. <laughs> So we're going to do our very best 
not to let that happen. And I think the next level's the last one, actually. Oh god, it's getting kind of vaguely Don Maku-ish for this game. Oh, I don't like this. Those homing missiles are rude. Yep, I can see I'm taking damage. Thank you, audio indicator. Please go away now. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this at all. Come on, please die. I don't want many things in life right now. I just want you to die. So my cats and I can continue on our cat journey. I don't like that they can kind of become Sidewinder missiles off screen. So you have no idea where they are. Alright. Please tell me that's it. It's our little pedal jet thing. It was a nice little cutscene. Oh, okay. Please, please tell me there's a safe spot nearby. <laughs> Can I blow this stupid jet up? I really want to. Again, you know, I'm, I'm having fun with it, it's just, it's really crushingly difficult. <laughs> also, we have no health. Oh god, okay, pink trash can... healed me? What? Okay, I don't get it, I ran into the pink trash can, I took damage. I thought it was a collectible. And yet, I'm fine. Somehow I have ha full health. I don't understand why. I'm not seeing a way up. Okay. Can't get up there. Hmm. Oh, that's my cat. Okay. It's like, wait. Oh god, there's an orange. Or there's a gray bullet coming at us. Oh, wait, that's my cat. Okay, fair enough. I'm just so scared right now. I I just really want to find a safe spot. Come on. There we go. Okay, well, I think we killed ev I don't think I've killed this guy, evidently. Confused. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I can't climb the walls in any meaningful way. Hmm. I don't think I'm supposed to... Well... No, I don't think I can just destroy the jets, either. And I can't stand on enemies. So... What am I missing here? Because clearly there's something I'm missing. I can sit here and shoot things all day, but... Oh god, and I'm scared too because I still don't have a save spot yet. How do I get out of here? Am I supposed to use the, uh... Nope. I don't think that'll do anything. It didn't seem to. Huh. 
There's something we're missing, clearly. I wonder. <laughs> what? Okay, okay, okay. Just gotta be careful. Let's worry about these knights first. If I take care of these knights, we can make progress. I don't want to hear that sound game. Not now. You're kind enough to give us a save spot the moment I finish the the previous uh, thing. Give me one now. There we go. Okay. Now we can mess up all day long. I don't want to necessarily, but we can do it. I'm going to save again just to be safe. I'm sure it'll probably be fine, but all the same. Let's save. Okay. We're good. We're good. Jump. Well, the funny thing is, it's obvious, but up to this point, you never really need the ice ability to actually do ice ability things. Also, I don't know how I didn't die from that, but I'll take not taking damage from that. Okay. Whoa, these enemies are just, or these halls are just filled with enemies. That doesn't even give us a big power thing. Oh, night guy. Calm down. Or should I say chill out? <laughs> the enemies in this game are really, really bloody aggressive. Okay. Uh, no! You! Freeze! Please. Why can't I hit you? There. Ugh! There. Okay, fire. Not that. There we go. Come on, health pickup. I'm, I'm sick of this sound effect. Whoop! There we go. No health, though. Okay. Just gotta be careful. Fortunately, we have the save spot, but I don't want to have to go back and use it if I don't have to. No health yet. Oh! Holy crap. Okay, you Barzan colored jerk, you're dead now. Okay, trash can guy. Not cool, trash can guy. Not cool. If I've learned anything about those boxes, don't bother with them. They're a waste of time. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, we're making progress. And I, I think we actually are on, like, the last level, so we're pretty close. All right. Let's see if we can beat this game, shall we? It's only 6 a.m. We need to sleep. Okay, uh, this way is the way we want to go. Gonna need the ice power to do some stuff, so I'll pre-equip. There we go. I'm curious what that other door was that we didn't take, though. So I'm gonna just get around you guys, because all this crap is kind of pointless and just a distraction more than anything. What's in this door? Uh, well, there's some... It's a room. I can confirm that much. Are we gonna get some power-ups I don't want? Probably. But let's find out. Can we find another cat? Because I would like another kitty. For our little kitty, Clowder. Nope. Hey. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That's fine. Took a little more damage than I would have liked, but we're okay. Actually, yeah, that's perfect. Just shoot an angle like that. That works. Oh, 
What? I didn't swap. I'm, I'm guessing that's uh, uh, my swapping angle there was a matter of my controller being not really super great with the shoulder buttons right now. We're just going to be careful. Take it slow, and we'll get there. Alright. Nothing. Nothing. It's almost like charge shotting these guys is a waste of time. There we go. Oh, don't want to line up with you. Sorry, trash can. I've got an adventure to do with cats, so you'll just have to move aside. Or I'll jump over you. One of those two things will happen. Okay, come on. Health. Not health. Come on, trash can. Give me some health. I don't care if it's slightly grimy. Just give me some health. Mostly just so I can make that stupid sound go away. <laughs> Okay, we're okay, we're okay. We're not falling to wherever down there is. Which is probably the big room we just walked into, I'm just realizing. Which seems kind of obvious, I guess, in retrospect. Okay. We have a down that way place. And an over here place. Oh god. This is a really scary situation, because if I move anywhere, I'm going to take damage, and I can't afford to. <laughs> that trash can will hit me, or, or these stupid spiked jerks will hit me. I literally just have to sit here and take these guys out. I could, I guess, use my homing attacks, but given that I want to hold on to that for bosses, you know, it's better just to sit here and just take them out pea shooter damage. Not ideal, of course, but... We're kind of limited on options at the moment. Yeah, I, I don't even have like an angle where I can hit him with a charge shot. I got nothing from that. Okay. I think I see what I have to do, and I don't like it. Oh, yep, there we go. We're good. Can I get over there? No, it's too far. Not cool. Not cool. Okay. Yep, yep. Please give me a safe spot. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay. Now I want to go back and take a look at what we missed, but... Where I'll probably be disappointed, but you know. On the bright side, we at least made it here. In fact, I'm going to take damage just so we can get the full health back. Might have to experience the title screen again, but you know. For full health, I'll take that. Time loss. That's fine. Let's continue. For the quests of cats everywhere. Okay. Just gonna go back. If there's a save point here, that means that that's the way we have to go. Ah! Okay. 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 So what's down this way exactly that I missed? This is probably like, if you miss the jump, you get sent here. This is a punishment room, I'm sure. Green. What was green? Nope. 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 Green was punch. Okay, we got a box. Holy crap, did we get some sort of, like, permanent health buff? No, but we can make hearts now. At the cost of, like, all our energy. I'm not sure that's a great trade-off, but... I'm not gonna pretend like that wouldn't be useful. In a game that really doesn't like to give you health all that much. 
Oh, we got teleporters. Cool. Do I want to go back? I don't want to, no. Will I end up having to do so? Probably. Okay. Yeah, see, I think we're in a problem area now because we used that power-up, right? But now we don't have enough energy to freeze that uh, trash can in place. So that trash can right ahead of us, the pink one, we need to freeze that in order to move forward. I'm pretty sure we need to, anyway. So we have to, like, hope to get a freaking steam power up from this. Hopefully. There we go, got a big steam power We're up. Oh! Okay, yeah, we're back here. So this is a punishment room, but it also led to a power up that is very sad to use, <laughs> basically. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. There we go. That jumps a bit ropey, but we made it. I'm saving again. There, we got all the power-ups now. Good. Let's keep going. Uh-oh. Oh god, it's a big scary monster robot. Oh crap, and he's got a crazy spread shot. That's not so good. Can I use the heal? Yes, I can. I think it uses all your power, but you can use it. That spread shot is a little scary, but I think it's probably the most manageable attack. Does not heal you to fall. Okay. I noticed that I'm not damaging his head. That's concerning. That to me says that there's probably going to be a second form where he's like a mech inside the mech or something. On the bright side, we haven't really taken too much damage from this guy. Like, I kind of have his pattern down. Aside from that meteor attack, he's pretty easy to go deal with. Although talking's getting to be really hard. Oh! Whoa! It'd be nice if you just regenerated steam over time. Like, maybe not a lot, but just so... If you use all your stuff, you don't get stuck in a situation where you desperately need it and can't do anything with it. Oh, I will take that. And I will take that. And I'll definitely take that. Cat powers, save me! <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm, I'm sensing a second form here. This is the robot that kidnapped our friend. Oh god! He looks like us, except yellow and, and bumblebee colored. They're very slow and, and honestly not very threatening. <laughs> yeah, that single individual shot you made was the scariest move you've got, mate. And you can't seem to shoot sideways, or, or agonal. So, as long as I just sort of dance around your little pillar attack. I'm not really in any real danger. Your your red subordinate we fought last time was a scarier fight than you really. Although your first phrase was a lot easier. It's just because you're a little bit slower and a little less predictable with your movement, I guess. Not a very hard fight, though. Kind of underwhelming. Not gonna lie. Boom. Face planted. That's our friend who got kidnapped.
<laughs> Had his heart broken by the woman he kidnapped. Uh oh, he doesn't seem too happy about it though. Rocket punch! Whoopsie. <laughs> Stage seven. <laughs> oh god, do the level in reverse, go. Also the save areas are dead. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I can walk on those. That's good. Unfortunately, we have to get out of here. <laughs> this is a little bit scary. Because if we fail, of course, there's no safe spots after that fight, so... It'd be nice if there was, like, a post-fight autosave type of situation. Oh god, we don't need to go this way at all. Oh, you know what would be useful here? Dash, which I can't use. Okay, this is a bit scary. 13, 12. Oh god, are we gonna be able to make it? <laughs> it's gonna be close. Oh god, that's not where the exit is. I think we just made it. <laughs> oh, that was scary. <laughs> this game sure did make things explode real good, didn't it? Whew. This game's adorable, but man, is it hard. <laughs> Went in there at the end. That was unbelievably close. <laughs> but that was Steam Gear Mash, a game I reviewed forever ago, and definitely an import I like a lot. It's just really ungodly hard for like no reason, and and just some basic quality of life and like some um, stage like tweaks would just make it so much better. But man, this is a good game. It's it's a fun import and it's super cheap too. Last I checked. But, man, <laughs> I didn't expect to play through the game in its entirety. I kind of figured I'd spend an hour on the first level and that would be it. Those shmup stages are, like, absolutely killer, too, so I'm genuinely surprised I managed to beat it here in about an hour and a half. You know, I'm, I'm quite proud of myself. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, now we have to jet ski home. Such a harsh life we live, where we have to have a jet ski. But even so, we saved the day and got our friend back. And now, credits. To tell the tale of the heroes who made this, and that we saved a cat. In fact, we saved two cats. <sighs> and, you know, since since I didn't show it off, why not show up the opening to actually understand the plot of this game? We're, we're understanding the story in reverse, basically. But we were just a big, friendly robot made by this doctor to help this girl out. And it was all great forever. Except when it wasn't. Because then when it wasn't, 
it was now, and then there was a game to be played. Aw, nothing could ever stop this friendship. It's just gonna be perfect forever. Just nothing can go wrong. Except in space. There's a giant space telescope so that this bumblebee-looking robot thing can perv on our friend for some reason that isn't really well explained. And then he commands his red guy buddy to kidnap our friend and then, you know, disarm us. Literally. That red guy was a lot harder than that, the leader guy. It's also weird that, like, these other aliens, which I assume are, like, from space or something, look exactly like us. Just different colored and slightly edgier, but ostensibly similar in design. It's just rather peculiar. Also, bonk. He's been disarmed. Literally. Now our friend the Professor Man guy gave us a gun to solve all of life's problems. And that's the plot of Steam Gear Mash. <laughs> and as all things go full circle, we end with the uh, awesome steel drums in, in the killer opening to Steam Gear Mash. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know we go live, because we try and stream as often as possible, usually three or four times a week. Um, might do some N64 stuff tomorrow, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, then, of course, we got Skies of Arcadia on Monday, um, Steambot Chronicles after that, and, of course, more Road Trip after that. Uh, and I'm hoping to do more Saturn Day stuff, but like I said, my equipment is kind of failing. I'm trying to find a way to fix it, or find a replacement, or, like, an alternative. I've got a couple options, but they're not super cheap, but we'll see what we can do. Until then, I, I still have my, my physical discs, although a lot of them are not as easily recommendable as games because they're a little bit more complicated still um anyway i hope you enjoyed uh check out and subscribe to my youtube channel see everything else i did i just put up my huge stream video for my birthday a couple weeks ago because it only now finished processing and i might have a review up tomorrow or monday so look forward to that and if you really want to make my day check out the show's paypal or patreon support the show any way you can so that i can continue to do what i do to the best of my ability which in this case is explore awesome saturn imports with crushing difficulty for no reason and completely beat them even if I had to die a couple dozen times in the process. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Peace out, Internet. <laughs>